Hey guys, Dan from Chicago back again for another video uh, basing it off of the 10 things for conscious people to focus on in 2013, the wakingtimes.com article. Uh, this is going to be my second video of a series of videos and this video will be about improving the total self. This one's, uh, you know, I was trying to think before I started what to talk about with this one because there's so much you could talk about. I mean, improving the total self, I mean, that goes from just being a more positive person or taking care of your body, exercising more, uh, eating healthy, uh, just maybe even going out more into the public and talking with people um, or just trying to stop being so shy and trying to uh, meet new people and start uh, telling people how you feel about different things because that's what I'm doing. I guess I'll talk about myself uh, to start off. You know, improving the total self. You know, I've watched videos on YouTube for a long time now. You know, I mean, really started to get into the astrology and just spirituality, um, given I always follow, followed spirituality for probably at least 10 years plus now, or the whole law of attraction and stuff like that. Um, but really on YouTube, I started really watching a lot of videos probably back in March or April of 2012. And uh, maybe actually even before that when I think about it. You know, actually, it was probably back in November 2011, because that's really when I started to... Something after 11, 11, 11, uh, for me, at 11, 11 p.m. Uh, that night on 11, 11, 11, I was at my brother's house, and all of a sudden, uh, something told me to look at my watch, and I saw 11, 11, and it was on 11, 11, 11, and uh, to me, that was just like, it was just a calling from something, you know, from my higher beings, higher spiritual guides, whoever it was, uh, to change my ways and to start being more spiritual and uh, really, I guess it was my final steps of learning everything I really needed to learn before I could start spreading it out to uh, the people of the world who's watching this video or who follows my Facebook page, my Google Plus page, Twitter page, um, or subscribes to my YouTube channel. You know, it's all Dan Sadlier spirituality, um, otherwise just Dan Sadlier, that's S-A-D-L-E-I-R, and uh, so you can check all those out. But uh, going back to starting with myself, you know, uh, or improving myself, I started, uh, I learned about the, uh, just a bunch of different decrees, you know, I keep going back to decrees, but, you know, I do decrees for myself and for all of humanity, um, you know, speaking the love or the light or whatever else uh, they might, protection, everything, uh, to myself, because that's what's most important, and that's most important to you watching this video. You know, I talk a lot about spreading love to others, but really, you have to have the strongest love in yourself, and you have to not just have love in yourself, you have to love yourself, and that's the biggest thing, and maybe that's the thing to start with, the improve the total self, is to make sure that you love yourself. There's more than just uh, sharing stuff or giving out things and then you never get anything back. You know, I mean, I was watching a video yesterday. Um, I'm sorry, I forget the lady's name, but I'll try to post the link underneath this video. Um, and that's what she talked about was, you know, you can't just always give. You have to receive. You know, I mean, then it's an equal. Then there's wholeness, right? Everything goes back to wholeness. So if you are giving and then you're receiving at the same amount, then it's perfect. You know, if you're giving too much, then you're losing that love. If you're loving yourself too much, maybe that could go into being selfish, you know, or just being too much all about yourself. You know, I'm the best. I'm so cool, blah, blah, blah. You know, you should think you're the best. You should think you're cool, but don't overdo it. You know, I mean, just try to get that equal median, um, which, you know, I think that's hard to find. You know, I don't think any of us have really truly found that. We will, but uh, we got to keep improving ourselves. So to go into improving yourself, you could start with whatever's really on your mind. Do you believe you have to lose some weight? Do you believe you have to stop swearing so much? Do you believe you have to spend more time with your family or your friends or your wife or your kids? What is it? You know, I mean, there's something in your mind. When I'm saying this, I'm sure something triggered in your mind of what you think that you could do to improve yourself. So, 
start there. You know, if you think something, start there and try. You know, I mean, every day is a new day. You could improve yourself every day, you know, just a little bit. You know, I mean, you can't expect to be completely brand new, change yourself tomorrow. I mean, that just doesn't happen. Otherwise, uh, life wouldn't be as much fun. You know, you got to live through the experiences to enjoy and reap the rewards that come from those experiences that make you into a better person. So I'm hoping today you start to think about yourself and start to make sure that you love yourself. You are a beautiful person, whoever you are. Don't listen to all the outside. If someone ever made fun of you, someone ever put you down in any sort of way or said your idea wasn't good or, you know, I mean, I wish I knew the facts of this, uh, but, you know, there's a, I feel like it's like the Beatles or someone like that or the Rolling Stones or some big band. Uh, like, they got denied, like, tons of times from different uh, record companies, re, uh, you know, and uh, look at where either of those bands are, if it was one of those bands. It was some big band like that, that they just got rejected so many times, but they kept going. So just don't listen to the other people, no matter what. If you have a passion for something that you want to do, like I have a passion right now for making these videos because I want to try to help people, you know, and at the same time, it's helping myself because I'll watch these videos and then, you know, it comes back into my ear, you know, and to my mind, it's my heart of what I say. Because a lot of times, you know, it's kind of like, it just flows, it comes out when I'm talking on these videos, and it's, uh, you know, I try to always take them in, I try to always uh, make myself the best, but I feel by watching them, it helps me. You know, so whatever helps you, you know, uh, if you're not as happy of a person, if you're a little pessimistic, or uh, just not happy, why don't you go on YouTube or something like that, or uh, rent your favorite funny movie, or go on YouTube and look up, like, Just for Laughs or something like that, which is all, like, hidden camera shows. Or there's the new Betty White, uh, Off Your Rockers. Actually, uh, it's on Tuesday nights. It's hilarious. You know, if you like hidden camera shows, I love them. That's, like, one of my favorite things. Uh, it's always just fun to laugh, you know. I, I don't like taking things too seriously. I mean, I take things seriously when they have to be serious. But otherwise, it's all about having fun, you know. I, that's all I really want. Fun and love. Hey, can't ask for anything better than those two things, right? <laughs> but again, you know, um, to improve yourself, just, you know, I did this before in another video. Put your hand on your heart. I think the more you feel a vibration, the more you probably love yourself. Maybe that's true, maybe that's not. But that's something I just thought of right now. And just try to concentrate on your heart. And when you concentrate on your heart, and you have your hands on your heart especially, you really feel it, you know? You feel that energy, that energy your heart has. Because your heart is the most powerful or most high vibrating uh, organ, tool, in your body, you know? So concentrate on your heart. And maybe that's a way to really start with uh, improving yourself. Because everything is feelings. If you listen to your feelings, you know how you feel. You know, I said this again before, you know, if you're sad, if you're upset, you're more crouched down, you know, and that's, it's not as fun compared to, yeah, woo, I'm so happy, you know, could you just feel it? Like, there's such a difference. So if you feel that love, it'll start building more and more in you. And then you have that love in you, and no one can take away the love of yourself if you don't listen to them, because you might have people, I think when people... Uh, I was reading some comments on someone's uh, video on YouTube, and someone said, whenever I try to spread love, I get uh, people being back negatively to me. He didn't say negatively, he said some other words, but it was that's what it meant. Um, and I was going to write back, you know, that's because they don't know how to handle love. You know, maybe they haven't received love, or at least the love that you understand. You know, so... Don't let the people, it, that's just not who they are and what they understand. They, they are not at that point in their spiritual journey yet to realize how important love is to all of us, you know? and to, Or maybe they understand how important it is, 
but they just haven't received it. So they don't know how to take it in, you know? So just keep spreading the love. But make sure if you have that love in yourself, it just kind of radiates out to other people. And uh, it's that easy to really spread love. But you really got to just love yourself. Take care of yourself. Uh, try to eat more healthy if you want. You know, I know I love my pizza and my hamburgers and french fries. You know, I mean, who doesn't? Well, maybe some people don't. But I love it, you know, and it's hard. But um, everything's all right in moderation, right? So if you have a little pizza and hamburgers every so often. But, um, you know, maybe it, it just if you're trying, you know, I mean, Maybe you're in amazing shape, you know, and you're watching this video. So this is not something you need to do. But, you know, I mean, maybe just try to eat more whole grains or eat more vegetables or uh, lean meat, you know, fish, chicken. You know, I mean, it's something as easy as that or smaller portions. Or, you know, something I just read was uh, a great way to make sure that you eat less calories when you eat is drink a full glass of water before you eat anything, before you eat, eat your meal. You're, you will not go back for that second helping, most likely. Or you'll just eat less, you know. So uh, just little things like that. Otherwise, uh, if you're pessimistic, try to just jump onto the op optimistic side for once. You know, there is, um, they say that 21 days of doing something creates a habit. So if you want, if you really, really want to try to change, find a calendar. Mark today's date. And figure out what 21 days is. And make sure you do that for 21 days and you will create a habit. So uh, that's another great way to improve yourself. Uh, you know, by changing those bad habits that you have and trying to make new ones that are, uh, that should now resonate with you. Don't just do something just because you hear me saying like lose weight or uh, try to be less pessimistic. Do whatever resonates with you. I'm going back to that, and that's what all these videos are about. Whenever you hear me talking, it's only if it resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't listen to it. Push it back, move on, see if something else resonates with you. Or come back and watch another video. Maybe this video doesn't resonate with you in any way, but maybe the next one does. So uh, I think that's a good way. Uh, again, with uh, decrees or whatever, try to find something that works for you. You could even make up your own decree, whatever you want, you know, I mean, sometimes, I came up with the one, um, because I always read a, a lot about uh, being a golden pillar, so, uh, I'm a golden pillar of divine love, light, and violet fire, and I usually say that uh, two times, and on the third time, I'll go, I'm a being, or I'm a golden pillar of divine love, light, and violet fire, freely giving divine love, light, and violet fire to all. So go, I'm a golden pillar of divine love, light, and violet fire. I am a golden pillar of divine love, light, and violet fire. I am a golden pillar of divine love, light, and violet fire, freely giving divine love, light, and violet fire to all. I am a golden pillar of divine love, light, and violet fire, freely giving divine love, light, and violet fire to all. I am a golden pillar of divine love, light, and violet fire, Freely giving divine love, light, and violet fire to all. Maybe that resonates with you. Maybe it doesn't. But when I feel I put my hand on my heart and I say that out to the world, I feel that I am helping myself, but I'm also helping humanity. You know, uh, love is the most powerful thing and God light, extremely powerful. Two of the most powerful elements. Uh, if that's the right word, uh, things in the world for you, you know. Violet fire, I like it because it transmutes all negative energy into positive energy. So that's why I add that. But that's something I just made up. You can make up your own, you know, by your readings, by what you listen, by what you feel, you know. It doesn't matter, you know, I said I've read stuff about Golden Pillar, you know. I mean, you could be like, I am love, I am happiness. I am that I am. That's something completely different, you know. That's the whole burning bush um, that, I think it was Moses, uh, asked, what are you? And it was God, and God said, I am that I am. So the I am is super important. 
you know, it's huge in this world because uh, it goes back with the tree of life and everything like that, uh, that you don't really get to hear about as much in uh, the Bible and all the, all the religious stuff. It's just not around as much um, as what it could be. But whatever, it doesn't matter. You, uh, so just take that as whenever you say, I am, don't say, I am sick. Say, I am healthy. I am happy. I am love. I am joy. I am abundant. Start changing your words because words are important, you know, but your feelings are even more important and your actions are even more important as well. But keep in with the I am. And uh, if you keep talking positively from your heart, from yourself, more positive will come. You know, you could go into the whole law of attraction, and I think I've talked about this before in videos as well. Um, I don't believe that if I'm staring at a Maserati convertible or something, you know, some like awesome car, then I'm like, this is really nice, but I'm not going to get that thing tomorrow, maybe in the future, but I think maybe uh, more so, it, you just got to want things that are capable of coming, you know, like I may have used the example before in talking with cars, I used to want a BMW 5 Series, you know, and it's a sporty car, and I want a navy uh, blue, you know, it's just the idea, and uh, I ended up getting a Nissan Altima 3.5 SE, uh, fully loaded, you know, it's more in my price range, and uh, I was able to get everything in it, and uh, it was perfect, you know, and it's kind of like the same thing, it's sporty, it's cool, I enjoy it, you know, so maybe that's how the law of attraction works, and uh, I'm sure it works at different times in different ways as well. Um, I don't want to say no, because it works for everyone in different ways. The cosmos are different, you know, or the cosmos are what they are, and uh, sometimes they bring you what you want, sometimes they bring you something that is almost the exact same thing what you want, but it makes you happy, and uh, sometimes they bring you something completely different from what you wanted, or what you expected, but you find out after a little bit that that was the perfect thing, opportunity for you. So just listen to yourself. And that's the only way to improve your total self in 2013. Listen to your heart. Listen to your feelings. Because if you listen to your feelings and you only take in feelings that make you happy, cancel, cancel all those negative feelings gone. You know, I feel, you know, of course I have my ups and downs, you know, everyone does, you know, I mean, that's the world of duality, good, bad. Uh, but, you know, sometimes with the, the goods, you know, I just think, well, that's just what it is, you know, I mean, see what that brings out of it, you know, I, it's, instead of being like, ah, oh, man, why did that happen? Ah, oh, and then you let it pull you down, it gives you that deeper, darker energy, that uh, density, you know, I mean, you got the third density, you got the fifth density, whatever density, you know, if that's even true, you know, I mean, that's something you read, I read a lot about is all the densities. Third density, you're just lower, you know, fifth density, you feel light, you know, uh, at least that's just a very quick understanding of it and uh, an easy way to just say it real fast. But I hope the best for you in 2013. Work on yourself in any way that you feel is possible. But especially concentrate on your heart, concentrate on your feelings, and the inside, and make yourself the best person you can be. Because if you make yourself the best person you could be, everyone will love you for that. It doesn't matter if it's something that, that you are something that maybe society doesn't agree with. Who cares what society thinks? You are a beautiful being. There's a reason why you are who you are. Don't hide it. Live your life and be proud. And um, and that's what I'm doing right now. You know, I, I read uh, something that was about spirituality. I don't even know if it was on uh, this article that I was talking about or one of them. Who knows? But it said, you know, there's a, this time is a different time of opening up about your spirituality. More people are coming out of the closet, per se, about their spirituality, you know, because the stuff I talk about, 
To some people, it's way over their head. But to some people, they really understand it and they really take it in. And I think that's really cool. And I hope for the people that it does go over their head, if they are watching this, that maybe now it's starting to come into your head. And really, I mean, it's so easy to just start with yourself. We all have a heart and we all have feelings. And we all, it's so easy to know what you want by just listening to your feelings. So listen to your feelings this year. Make sure you really make an emphasis on listening to yourself and improving yourself. If things are just going so fast, 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 slow down. Stop. Miss that bus if you're at the bus stop. If you're in the morning and you're, oh, I'm all upset, slow down. Another bus is coming in five minutes. You can miss that first bus, but it will calm you down and you can move forward with your day in a more positive mindset. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, deep breaths. Just calm yourself. It's such a great way of truly understanding yourself and listening to yourself. Because when the world keeps getting you going, moving forward, sometimes you just have to learn to stop, to slow down, and to look in within and see what that is bringing you and what that will bring. You know, and I'll just sign off with this, with the whole, uh, I said, miss the bus. You know, some people are probably like, what? I have to be at work, you know. I don't know. You know, it's funny. It's like, my thing is, sometimes I'm running late and I'm running around and I'm like, oh gosh, oh gosh. You know, and then I get to the place I need to be at and I have to sit there for like 15 minutes, you know, and it's like, all right, well, I guess there's no reason for me to get all upset, you know, and trying to rush around and speeding around and whatnot, you know, calm down, see where things take you and work on yourself. Keep in the heart, listen to your feelings and much love to you. I hope the best for 2013 for you. I hope you find your true self and radiate it to the world. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone, it doesn't matter. Because if it makes you happy, that's all that matters. Who cares what other people think? As long as you are happy and not hurting anyone. That's the main thing. All right? So much love to you. Thank you for, again, tuning into my uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe to this video. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Uh, I think that's all of them. Just tried signing up to a bunch of different things. Uh, Dance, Dad, Lear, Spirituality, uh, and much love, light, peace, Violet Fire, and uh, have a great day. Much love. Thank you. Like this video. Comment, too. I love hearing from you guys. So hope to hear from you soon, and thank you again.